how to blend. So uh, before we start diving into the actual solution, we need to make sure that we have these things in place, the, the bullets listed here, that we are very clear about the specific training need, that we have all the content that addresses this need, and that we have clarity, total clarity on who is the audience, what are their jobs, and when are they likely to need this learning. So this is a very important thing because the, the parts we choose depend a great deal on the audience and their preferences or their limitations, the limitations of their environment. We'll see that shortly. And then of course, we need the learning technology infrastructure in place, which is the LMS. Uh, I think most, most organizations now have very robust LMSs in place. And many organizations are also into mobile learning, which is, as I mentioned earlier, very increasingly popular. So once you have all this in place, we can come up with a generic template. So a generic game plan, which tells us which kind of content lends itself best to which format. So you could have a pre Pre, uh, a pre-classroom self-assessment, a self-learning, which the learner takes individually, followed by an ILT. And then to take that learning further, you could have an e-learning uh, solution. And then if there are critical things that the learner needs to know, then these could that those pieces of content could be uh, formed in the in in the micro learning format and deployed. And then you have your performance support. Now, let me illustrate what I mean by all this through an example that we had done for one of our customers. There was a need for product training for salespeople. And um, this was for salespeople who were always on the move and really had no time to take or attend formal training you know, in their offices. So this is the, uh, these are the considerations we had in mind when we designed this solution for them. So we have this we could we presented uh, an introduction you know some pre class learning a pdf an infographic a video maybe about the high level features attributes benefits of that particular product followed by a classroom session where the product is demoed and where um, the facilitator demonstrates selling skills in not just the bare uh, features of the product, but the, the softer side of it, the, the actual selling part of it as well. This could be followed uh, by detailed e-learning, where you actually do a comparative analysis of your product vis-a-vis -vis the competitor's product, and which again could be uh, deployed to, the, to our audience, in this case, the traveling salespeople, either through their laptops or through their mobiles or, or through the tabs. And as I mentioned, you know, important pieces of e-learning, which is the USPs of the product could be just packaged in the form of micro bytes, micro learning bytes and delivered. And uh, similarly, you could offer performance support where, you know, when the learner is struggling to recall certain information, maybe it's just numbers or statistics or whatever it is that helps him or her to do their job better. They do need that information, but they don't necessarily are able, uh, have to commit it to memory. This is where performance support can be put in place to make sure that at their point of need, they just pull up those uh, that data and they are good to go. And then you have the online platform. So basically what we need to keep in mind when we are blending, uh, designing a blend is that we have a specific training need, we have all the content in place, we have our audience analysis done, and then we decide on how what goes where.